we've had a 4.9 magnitude and 4.3 and earthquake swarm rattling the area of Long Valley Caldera, Nevada. The area there east of Long Valley Caldera is basically Long Valley Supervolcano. This is the 9, 10 volcanoes of Nevada just east of Long Valley. Let's take a look at the map so you can see what's going on. These quakes have been going on for over a month now. We're talking about hundreds of quakes every day. And we know that Long Valley Caldera is deforming. There is an influx of magma there. There's also a geothermal plant. And uh, it's one of the very high threat volcanoes of California, one of the 20 super volcanoes of the world. Okay, this is the one that's the biggest of the swarm. 4.9 at 6.5 kilometers, that's about three miles down. And uh, the 4.3 was uh, about 10 hours before that, 11.3 kilometers down, and uh, again, 3.3. This is the area of Long Valley right there. This whole area. This is the border, California, Nevada. Mono Lake is in uh, the area of Long Valley Caldera. This whole section here is Long Valley Caldera. And uh, let's pull out again so you can see the volcanoes of the Volcano Discovery. Long Valley Volcano. This is it right here, Mono Lake, the Inyo Craters. And where we have the legend here is basically where our uh, quake swarm in Nevada is going on. Now these are the quakes bigger than 2.5. The blue ones are the past day. The yellow are the past week. And the red are the past hour. Okay, these are the past hour. And uh, you can see, of course, there's a swarm in Long Valley as well, not just Nevada there both here and there. Long Valley here and Long Valley there. Long Valley here, under Mono Lake, and Long Valley on the east side, which is just over the border. It doesn't mean it's not the supervolcano, it is. The large 17 by 32 kilometer Long Valley Caldera east of central Sierra Nevada range, California, is a result of giant explosive eruption happened 760,000 years ago and formed the widespread voluminous Bishop Tuff. The caldera has been showing unrest in recent years in the form of deformation of the caldera floor and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles. And in order to better study modern the caldera for a few future possible eruption changes, USGS established Long Valley Observatory. Oops, sorry, that should not be in there. Okay. Um, how did that get in there? My goodness. All right, so let's go, let's get here. Three, 33 people reported feeling it. Uh, the thing is that there's hardly anybody living out there. As you can see from the population density, hardly anybody there. And it's just across from San Francisco Bay going to the um, topo topographic, where are we, okay, okay, San Francisco Bay is right there, let's take off the population because otherwise we can't see very well, take out the population density, there you go, and we had the San, we had a, a, larger, a large quake in San Francisco yesterday, and uh, it was felt by about three and a half thousand people, um, this, is, this has shaken Long Valley. Let's go to our aerial again. There's Mono Lake. Okay, Mono Lake, the Inyo Craters. And as you can see, if you even extrapolate, this is the, the USGS just stops the block there. But if you extrapolate that, you can see that perhaps it has been felt into the, the valley as well. So uh, yes, uh, Long Valley Caldera has been shaken by that. There we go. Take this off, and you can see that there's hundreds of quakes there. Uh, there were. This has been going on for uh, 
well over a month now. Uh, these today seem to be a lot less. But the 4.9 is uh, one of the biggest that it's had lately. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, the San Andreas Fault takes up 75% of the subduction pressure, and the Walker Lane Fault System takes up the other 25%. The magma plume coming from Baja California splits into a Y. The western part goes under San Andreas and Walker Lane, and the eastern part goes under this area, this fault line here, under the area of Utah, under Salt Lake, into uh, Wyoming. Yellowstone and then makes a right hand or left hand turn 90 degrees uh, about 100 less 190 miles from the quake swarm in Idaho as we said before these yellow the uh, red are the uh, past hour and we did have a uh, an earthquake late I think yesterday or the day before on the Hayward fault system and that shook uh, San, the um, San Francisco Bay Area so this area is very active and um, as you can see um, Ridgecrest is very active also th this is all volcanic area the coastal volcanic field the uh, very high threat volcano the uh, Long Valley caldera this is the area of the Nevada earthquakes as we saw, the Nevada volcanoes, as we said, the Aurora Bodhi is the closest to Mono Lake, which is right there. Steamboat Springs, of course, they have fumaroles and uh, steam vents there. Soda Lakes. And uh, there are nine or ten volcanoes in Nevada. Now, as we said before, we have another eight volcanoes south of Salt Lake City, another nine volcanoes in Idaho, just west of a Yellowstone supervolcano. So all of this area is volcanic, as we know. All of you there, please be very careful, because we have an uptick here in earthquakes this past month or so. In this, as we said before, is the area of the Long Valley Caldera supervolcano. Right here. Following the Bishop Tuff explosion, formation of Long Valley Caldera 760,000 years ago. And the last activity was about 50,000 years ago. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.